Hello everybody, it's Lazel here with another video. Today we are playing Standard Ranked. We just had a reset of our ranking. I'm Bronx 1 again and I'd like to climb again. So a deck that I really enjoy, especially in this area of ranking, is the Anvil deck that I have shown here. And it is a simply sacrifice deck that works around the Onicult Anvil and the Dragon Spark Reactor in charging it up and by sacrificing, for example, the Shambling Guest to generate a lot of treasure value, especially due to Deadly Dispute. This goes very well, but you can also sacrifice the Synthesizer, the Experimental Synthesizer for additional card value, depending on if you need to hit some land drops on, or if you're looking for some specific removal the Voltage Surge, for example, or the Meteor Massacre. Funny thing about that, the Meteor Massacre is actually the only rare or mythic card in the stack, so everything else is just commons and uncommons, so if you want to build it yourself, it is actually a very cheap deck, aside from the Meteor Massacre, but the Meteor Massacre is a card that you should probably have in your collection because it is a very powerful card, either in uh, Mono Black Control or in other deck types. Aside from that, there are a few rare lands in here, which I found in my collection that are just very helpful. The pathways, of course, as we don't really care about mountain or swamp synergy, we just go for the pathway to be very flexible. The Haunted Ridge can be very helpful. I have two copies of it, so I added those. And the Hive of the Eye Tyrant is also a card that I found to be very helpful in the stack, as, for example, if we get board wiped and we have to rebuild with something but have no gas anymore in our hand, the Hive Tyrant can jump in and does a very good job with that. So another card that I tested a lot and I find it to be very funny is actually the Reinforced Ronin. Many people don't play it in the synergy of Dragon Spark Reactor and Only Cold Anvil, and I see a few reasons why. But I like this card because it is an artifact creature, it has haste, it damages your opponent for two in your first step. And especially when you're hitting your land drop and you also have a synthesizer in hand, you don't actually want to play the synthesizer right on turn one. Because no matter what you draw, you will immediately lose the card to the exile. So I like to play Reinforced Ron on turn one. And then in the second turn, you can just play the Synthesizer, uh, see what you draw. If you're lucky in hitting a land, you can just use that. But the turn one plays in this deck are very limited. You can go for a Reinforced Rowning here to immediately go for some damage. What the deck want to do, what the deck want to do, or you just bring out the Shambling Gas to have it as Sacrifice fodder for your Deadly Dispute. That's great. Depending on what stays around you enchant it with the Sticky Fingers. It's a card that I find very cool from the Streets of New Capenna. And it also generates a lot of value with creating treasure tokens and drawing new cards when enchanted creatures die. And overall, it's, it's a very funny card. I only run two copies because I don't think four copies are very helpful in this deck. But I like the synergy with the Reinforced Ronin and the Only Cold Anvil also saying that whenever one or more artifacts you control leave the battlefield. So the bringing it back to hand also counts for that and that will create a 1-1 one -one colorless construct artifact creature token which you then can also sacrifice or do other shenanigans with. So overall the deck is very synergistic and I like it a lot and it's a lot of fun. So I'd better show it to you in some games. So let's jump into them. All right, so we have lands, we have Deadly Dispute, we have our Synthesizer. This hand looks very helpful, so we will keep it. Start off with our Shambling Guest here. And let's see, okay, there's a blue. And we drew our Ronin, so we will play our Red Land drop here. And we will just go for could go for the Ronin, go in for free, or we just keep the Deadly Dispute open. So far we have no synergy in hand when it comes to the Anvil or the Reactor, so we still have to find them. So I'd say we just go for an attack and work with our Deadly Dispute here. In the end step of our opponent, we hit our land drop, so we are good to go. Our opponent considers... Right. That's the Delver. Right. 
where we can also kill the Delva, and I think it is reasonable as it turns out to be uh, quite a strong blocker. Let's see if our opponent has the... Okay, slip out the back. And we draw some cards, create a treasure. All good. So we have three available now. Interesting spot here. Also should have considered to hold the land back to just play the synthesizer and work on more card advantage. But I think we will play the road in here. Play another shambling guest. Go in for two and keep our deadly dispute back so we can dig deeper into our deck. Let's see if our opponent gets to transform him. No. Right, this is very scary. The ledger gets out of hand pretty quickly, so we need to avoid our... Uh, to cast too many spells. It's a good thing we are doing the Deadly Dispute now. Spell Pierce, powerful. And our opponent already connives. Powerful deck that our opponent is playing. Didn't think of Delva into the Shredder, but okay. Alright, we drew our Anvil. So we have to find our land drop here, so we will play... Ah oh, yeah. And there we go. That's the bad thing about playing such low mana cost cards. Okay, we found our land here. And since we already make him connive, we will just play our Ronin in here. We won't go for an attack. We'll just go into our end step, bounce him back, make a token. And we will see how this goes. Didn't transform the Delver. Right, our opponent going for an all out attack here. Alright. I guess what we want to do first is our opponent has four mana available, so we will try to bait him out here. At least a counter spell. I'm fine with giving up one of our smelters. Okay, I think we will just... We cannot stop him from conniving anyway, so... We have to be aggressive, and if our opponent also keeps being aggressive with the Shredder, we are good to go. We'll just go into our combat step here. Let's see if our opponent bounces something. I wouldn't wonder if they... yep. Well, in response, we... I don't want to give them the scry trigger, so... I'm fine with sacrificing him now, seeing if our opponent still has any counter spells left. Alright. Well, we still avoided the scry from the Fading Hope. Alright, and we already made a token here. Well, we have our token engine online. I won't sacrifice the synthesizer now. I will probably do it in our next turn. Let's see if our opponent can flip the Delver now. Okay, they can. Counter stays on it. It's 4 free, so we are taking 7 in the air. Alright, let's go into our turn. I think we will start off with sacrificing the synthesizer. Let's see what we can find here. Land. And we have the mana to work with spell pierce. Or to work against spell pierce. Do we want to pay? I think we want to. We have the mana and we want to bait out the... Okay, didn't spell Pierce. Artifact creature... Okay. We have to keep in mind that we will 
need to keep sacrificing tokens now just to generate some more health. My opponent will... okay. I don't see us, uh, see us dealing 10 now. What could help is a uh, voltage surge now. Let's see. Alright. Let's see what we draw. Smelter probably not going to be enough here. Resolved. Fading hope, probably. Right, also reasonable to face out our smelter here. Yeah, good game by our opponent. Very good timing. The ledger shredder is just so powerful. Good game. All right, we have a Shambling guest, we have a follow up, we have the reactor. This looks like a great hand. We will probably be waiting till turn 3 with our synthesizer here. Alright. Also a hive, also a shambling guest. So what we can do here is, so far it looks like we are playing against mono black. We can just bring up the reactor as mono black tends to not have any artifact removal. And we can get that engine going. By playing the sticky fingers on our shambling guest, we can attack, create a treasure, and yeah, yep, prevent a lot when our opponent will deadly dispute their own shambling guest. They have to use the minus one, minus one, and we will still profit from the death trigger from the sticky fingers here. So they are kind of forced to do it, which will set them back a bit. Another shambling guest, okay, they can just keep them back. Should have considered not playing the land immediately. That was a slight misplay there. So let's see what we find on top with our synthesizer. Right, another Ronin. We'll just play him and we will just be aggressive here. Play double block, that's fine for me. And now we can consider what we want to do. Do we care about that one shambling gas that is there? Not really. Opponent will probably make a treasure. And then we can... Next turn we can meet Oak Massacre depending on how it turns out. That's also a thing why I like the run and it doesn't stay on the field and Metook Massacre is a card that you find quite often in nowadays matchups already since a very long time. Alright, so we can go for another black here, that's great. So we can bring out our Metook Massacre simply for one, I guess, that's okay. Get the path free for our Ronins. And then we can just play them, charge up our reactor. And because I am considering our opponent to have some removal here, we will just bring up both. 
and see how they play it. There's an even death, and has tapped. It's fine. We already have six chargers on our reactor. Interesting that they brought out the even death here. Anvil is a powerful draw here. I think the first thing that we want to do is sacrifice our synthesizer to the anvil. Just see what we find here. If we find a voltage surge, we are... Yeah, great. That's what we wanted to hit and now we can get the even death out of the way. And our opponent sees what's about to come. Yeah, that's a problem about Mono Black with no artifact removal. They really struggle against this deck, but okay. Alright, let's jump into the next one. Okay, we have lands, we have our synthesizer, voltage surge, the reactor, we can keep it. Alright, I want to bring out the, the synthesizer now, even though we will miss out on the card that we find on top. Alright, that's a very unlucky hit there, but it happens. Okay, so we have the deadly dispute here, our opponent also playing Raptors here, so far at least, so we can just bring out one of our reactors and see where this goes. Alright, our opponent missed a land drop there. We will play another one. And so far we can play our land as a red source to have Voltage Surge up. Let's see if they found something. Doesn't seem like it. No, oh, that's bad. Discarded a Metok Massacre. Alright. So what we will do, I guess, is we will deadly dispute our synthesizer here for additional card advantage also on our turn. Top, we found a Shambling Guest there. Metok Massacre. Treasure entering. And we will just play the Shambling Guest that we just found on top. And for now we will keep it like it to keep the deadly dispute up if our opponent has any further interaction here. Yep, just as this for example. And we will create another treasure token. Put the reactors on the stack. There we go. Charging them up. Great. Already 9 damage in our reactors. Alright, our opponent found a land here. I expect them to have way more gas now. Yep, for example, Nixilis. I'm gonna remake this town. I am in totally my... fine with losing some life here. Pleasure doing and in our turn we will just voltage search him. We'll sacrifice one of our treasures for that to deal 4 damage. Next time, so I he's out of the way. Down. I wanna play a Metok Massacre for 0 here, just to have it on the board. Followed up by a Shambling Guest. And for now, yep. We will keep up another Voltage Search for 4 here. A bit more card advantage would be great. Uh, yeah, this can happen. Create another treasure. Charge up our reactors. Tenacious Underdog, very good here. Do we want to kill it now? No, we don't. And yeah. We will just play a Shambling Guest here. And leave it like that for now. Alright, they are playing Junt. Ok, 
Okay, they are considering to do something with our shambling guest here. Okay, Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Very strong. I should consider killing the token there. We can take the free, that is fine for us. And we will just kill the token to clear the path for our shambling guest. We will just sit back, we know that we have nothing more in hand and we can crack our reactors anytime. So even if our opponent finds any removal, we are good to go. We will attack first. Play a shambling guest as a blocker. We could work on bringing the Tenacious Anadoc into their graveyard, because if they want to blitz it, it costs them also life, and that's where we want to go. And But we will see. Our opponent just discarded a Renan 7 and a Blood Tithe Harvester. So this is so funny about this deck, like, we are playing against decks that contain way more rares and mythics. Okay, what do we have here? Target creature of plane, so excess damage is where I destroy. Okay, so what we have to do here now is we need to crack one of our reactors and kill our own shambling guest. Because if they kill our artifacts, then we are done for it. Alright, so this doesn't resolve. They are hitting us for free, that's fine. And let's see. The Smelter is a great draw here. Because he also creates an artifact creature. Which charges up our reactor and now we can ping our opponent for 8. There we go, good game. Rank up. All right, back to silver. All right, we have sticky fingers, we have an anvil, a smelter. So we need some outlets that we can enable to at least create a token. We are on the play. Yeah, I'm not too big of a fan of the sand. Let's take a mulligan here. Let's just see what we find. Alright, this is not really better, but we will just keep it and see what we can do with it. We will play Ron here, going for two. Alright, probably mono white here. Reactor is interesting. I will offer the trade here. Alright, Thalia. Luckily we drew a land. We will play it on black so we can enable the Metok Massacre pretty soon. The problem about that is it is already expensive now and depending on if, the, if they have the Aspirant now we will have a problem there. I think it's a target for portable hole if I remember correctly, but we will see. There's the Adelin. Another land. So currently we can use our massacre for one, which is not enough. We will probably channel the reinforced drone in here. Yeah, there's a portable hole. All right, on the land. Can massacre for two here, which we will probably have to do simply because of the fact to keep Talia a bit or Adelin a bit smaller here and to enable to recast our next meat hook massacre cheaper here. Currently we can do it for free. We need another one. Alright, I guess the spellbinder will stop that. Reasonable. Send 
size on. Let's see. Could have played our reactor first, but I guess that won't make any big of a difference here. Right? So we will get rid of Adeline here. And we will have to sacrifice our reactor. If they have a backup one, we are in a bad position here. Yeah. I don't think that we can go as wide as we need here. We will have to recast this Metok Massacre for one. We can play a synthesizer up front. Let's see what we find. For land, alright. Yes, we want to pay the one. Yep, yep. Let's see you. Okay, there's the aspirant. Now Adam is just growing out of range. Okay, we have a few blockers that we can bring out. Another Metook Massacre, which we can play for... two. Still bring out our Shambling Guest. Another blocker. Alright, there goes our shambling guest. Good game. Mono wide aggro. Let's jump into the next one. Alright, this hand looks really, really good. Mountain into Ronin into Anvil. Great. Alright. Island. Mm -hmm. We'll just play an Anvil here. No land, all right. Okay, this needs to be shut down immediately. So we will first we will play a synthesizer here. Find a mountain on top, but we need to kill it right away. Don't know if that was necessary. I also wanted to create a token here. Yeah, we will lose two pretty good artifacts here. Alright, there's a ranger class. Here we go with another land. We will play our synthesizer first. Deadly Dispute. I think going for card advantage against werewolves can be very helpful, although I prefer to keep them low on resources. Guess we will try to go in for an attack here. Our opponent gives us that. Alright, so we will sacrifice, draw more cards. Good thing we did that. And for now we will play a land. There's actually no reason to play a Ronin here. Just pass the turn. And I'm pretty sure if they bring out a Tovula we are in a lot of trouble as they can just increase the pressure on us. Alright, Arlen. 
with your hair standing on end, our hunt draws near. All right. Do we want to draw? Not right now. Metok Massacre, that's great here. I think we want to Metok for two. Alright. So we can get rid of Arlen, and I'm also fine sacrificing this treasure to bring in some damage on our opponent. It's good. Next turn we can sacrifice our synthesizer to the Oni Cold Anvil. Or we just sacrifice it to its own ability. Our tap land, leveling up the Ranger class. Opponent passes. Okay, we have night time now. I think first we wanna sacrifice the synthesizer to create a token. Alright, Shambling Guest. So we will bring out everything before our combat. Let's attack for five here. Moonrager slash. That is Hannibal. All right. Opponent down to two cards in hand. Shambling guest. Let's see. Alright, leveling up Ranger class. Didn't find anything. Great, we have a hive as a backup. We will attack with everything. Sacrifice for the rain and recreate a construct here. Alright, next turn they need to bring out... Yeah, they do have to wipe the board and I don't see them doing that. Alright, nice. Another win for our Anvil deck. Very fun matches in this game. So... Talking about the deck in the post analytics, I'd say, yeah, the Metok Massacre is a great card and it is just very, very powerful. It enables so much with all of our uh, tokens that we are sacrificing. It is just a nice life drain mechanic for our, potent, uh, for our opponent and it helps out a lot in this deck. One of the other MVP cards in the stack is definitely Deadly Dispute. You just get so much value from sacrificing a creature that you actually want to kill, especially the Shambling Guest here. The Dragon Spark Reactor is a nice win con, but it's also vulnerable to a lot of removal, and you're working a lot on charging it, and then depending on how your opponent reacts and when, if you, and if you don't have the 4 mana value, uh, available, to sacrifice it in response, it's not that easy, but it's a very fun win con. The Oni Cult Anvil generates so much value, it's very powerful. I like to have the Reinforced Ronin in the stack just for the explained reasons of bouncing it back and then creating a token. The Sokanzan Smelter is probably something that could be replaced by something else, but I also find it very funny to just create more artifact, uh, artifact creatures to uh, increase the pressure and to charge up the reactor. So overall the deck is just super fun. I like it in the lower elo areas and overall yeah, it was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed this one and then I would say see you in the next one. Goodbye guys.